Jerry at Fair Oaks. What do you think this hole is, Lee? Gee, I don't know. I've never seen it before. It's kind of hard to see, even though the moon is shining pretty brightly. Yeah. Hey, Lee, look. What? Look at these boards here. They're all covered with moss and grass. Yeah, that's right. And they've been broken through, where whoever fell down must have stepped on them. Uh Uh-huh. And because of the moss and grass, I guess he didn't see that it wasn't just plain ground like all around here. Golly, well, what are we going to do? Well, he's... He's still alive. I wonder who it is. Do you suppose it might be old General, uh, General, what, uh, what do you call him? Oh, you mean General Ben? Yeah, the old soldier who lives in the cabin. Do you suppose it might be him? Oh, gee, that'd be awful if it is. Because, well, he's so old, he couldn't stand anything like that. Hey, listen. No, that, that isn't an old man. Somebody's coming. Oh, it's, it's Tom. Where'd you guys go? I was waiting for you down near the trail like we planned. Well, Lee and I saw somebody running ahead of us, Tom, and we decided to capture him. Gee, did you? No. Well, wait a second. Uh, well, no, because when we started after him, all of a sudden he disappeared. Disappeared? Well, how could he? Well, he fell down this hole. He's down there now. Hole? Oh, gee, I didn't notice that. Well, do you think it's one of the kids? Well, that's what we've got to find out, Tom. Sure must be hurt pretty bad because he keeps on groaning like that all the time. See, I've got an idea. Okay, what is it? Well, Captain Garden is back at the gym waiting for prisoners. Tom, you run back there and tell him about this. And in the meantime, Jerry and I will try to figure some way to get down there. Okay, you bet. I'll run as fast as I can. It'd be swell if we could get down there, but how are we going to do it? Maybe I could... Hey, wait, let me lie down on my stomach and see. Yeah, Lee. What? There are some rocks sticking out from the sides of this hole. It looks like an old well. It isn't very wide, only about four feet across. I think maybe I could climb down there. And as long as I keep my hands against the sides of the well... Oh, now, I... wait a minute, Jerry. Well, what's the matter? I can do that. I've climbed worse places than that. Yes, probably you have, but you could see where you were climbing. Here, you don't know what's down in that old well. The rocks that jut out may not last all the way to the bottom. Well, yeah, maybe you're right. I'll tell you. I hope this idea is better than the last one. Yeah, it is. You wait here, just in case Tom gets back with Captain Gardner, and I'll go down to General Ben's cabin and borrow a rope. Then I can shinny down on that. Say, that is a good idea. Okay, pal, you run as fast as you can. You bet I will. So long. So long. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, that nettle, I didn't notice it. Hey, who's that? Is that you, Tubby? Yeah. Jerry? Yeah. Well, I got captured all right. Never mind that, Tubby. Come on with me. I've got to go over to General Ben's cabin and get a rope. A rope? What... Oh, I get it. To tie somebody up, huh? Oh, no, Gee, that, that isn't it at all. Somebody has fallen down a well, and, and he's hurt. Pretty bad, it sounds like. Gee, who do you, who do you think it is? Hey, uh, why do you have to run so fast? Okay, okay. Softy, stay here if you want to. The cabin's right down there. You wait here and get your wind back. We'll probably need you later. Okay, I'll wait. Wait. must be here. There's a light. Well, what do you want at this time of night? 
You ain't lost, are you? No, sir. I... Well, General Ben... Don't what... call me General Ben. I ain't a general. Never have been. Wouldn't want to be. Cost too much money. What do you want? Well, sir, I... Stop stuttering. Yes, sir. I, I want a rope. A rope? What for? Well, to get somebody out of a well. Out of a well? What well? Ain't any wells around these parts? Oh, yes, there is. What? I say there ain't. Oh, well, it looks like a well, and somebody just fell down in it. Where is it? Just back of your cabin, General... Uh, I mean, Mr... Uh... The name is Dent. Benjamin Franklin Dent. Yes, Mr. Dent. Corporal Dent. Yes, sir. Lance Corporal. Yes, sir. Well, do you think maybe you could, uh... Well, let's borrow a rope. Oh, of course I can. Just one moment now. Hold your horses and quit champing at the bit. I'll fetch it. Whew. Gee. Uh, uh, here it is. Good long hemp rope. Used it to practice my knots on. Now, uh, wait till I lock this door. Are, are you coming with me, Corporal well, Dent? Well, you bet I am. Somebody's down the well. No slip of a stripling like you can get him out, rope or no rope. But there are three of us. Don't make no difference. Three or a squad or a platoon. Can't trust the rescue of human life to rookies. Uh, where till I fetch this pole? You tote the line there. Yes, sir. All right, now. All's well. Port. Well, uh, uh, what's a pole for, Corporal Dan? Well, I told you a young sprout like you would never get any ideas. I'll show you when we get there. Yes, sir. Hey. What's your name, lad? Dugan. Jerry Dugan. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerry Dugan. Say... What are you lads are doing out at this time of night? You should be in bed. Well, you see, sir, the school organized a treasure hunt, and three other cadets and I were on one squad looking for the next clue. And we saw somebody running ahead of us, and then we decided to capture him. Capture him with fur? Well, because we thought he was probably a member of the other team, the blue team. Huh. Sounds like a lot of fool monkey business to me. Well, go on, go well, on. Well, then all of a sudden he disappeared. And when we got up to the place where we saw him last, we found the old well. And yeah. whoever it was that was running ahead of us had fallen in, and he's still down there, groaning something awful. All right, now, quit talking and keep walking. Yes, sir. Halt, halt, halt. Say, who's that up ahead? If that's one of the other team, we'd better reconnoiter around him. You don't want to get yourself captured, do you? No, sir, but that's just Tubby Young, one of the members of my squad. He's, well, he's pretty tired, and I left him there to rest. Oh, well, come on, then. Gee, Jerry, I almost... Or, uh, oh. Corporal Dent, uh, this is Cadet Tubby Young. Uh, howdy. Well, come on, come on, we ain't got time to waste talking. Corporal Dent, huh? Oh, uh, I thought you were a general. Tubby, pipe down. Oh, well, excuse me. Nothing to excuse. No, sir, highest rank I ever hit was Lance Corporal. After the siege of El Coney, they offered to make me a sergeant, but I turned it down. They couldn't bamboozle me into buying no more chevrons. <laughs> well, there's the well right up ahead of us there. Lee's still waiting. Uh, we're coming, Lee. Hurry, Jerry. Stop groaning. Oh, gee, let's hurry, huh? I brought Corporal Dent with me, Lee. Corporal Dent, this is my roommate, Lee Phillips. Sir. Hey, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, we'd better hurry as fast as we can. Whoever's down in that well stopped groaning just after you left, Jerry. All right, all right, all right. Now, I'll assume command here, being of the highest rank. Now, you two lads put this pole across the well. Take those rocks there and put them all around the ends of the pole. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. Now, give me that rope. Yes, sir. Here you go. <laughs> Make a bowling at one end. Bowling? Yeah, yeah, a hangman's knotted slip. Stronger than a fisherman's knot, too. All right, now stand here, lad. Wait a minute, let me measure you. Yes, sir. Oh, I see what you're doing now. Oh, you do? You're going to let me down there at the end of this rope, and then when I get to the bottom, I'll put the loop around the other fella, and then you'll pull him up. That's it, huh? Yeah. All save one point. We'll all have to pull him up. Say, can you shitty? You bet. I mean, yes, sir. Oh, never mind the formality. You shouldn't say sir to a non-commissioned officer, no how. Yes, sir. I mean, oh, okay. Well, we're all set here with a pole now. All right, all right. Hold your horses. Don't rush me. You've got to make this not foolproof. Well, I wasn't rushing you, sir. I, I just meant that I know what with... you meant, but you can't rush Benjamin Franklin Dent. No, well, sir, Bob. I remember at El Caney, July 1st, 98, General Chaffee says to me, he says, Dent says, go up there and reconnoiter around that there hillock, says. But he says, take your time. Don't rush in where angels fear to tread, or you might come up missing, he says. Well, sir, I took his advice and crawled up toward that hillock very slow-like, and as a consequence, I missed the hail of lead by half a minute. Yes, sir, take your time. Uh, uh. All right now, lad. Now you watch how I put this around you, and you put it around the fella down there just the same way. Yes, sir. Uh, uh. Slide it down over his head like that. Oh, yeah, I see now. Yes. And then you put it down past the tips of my hands and then up under my arms. That's right. 
with the knot at the exact point between your shoulder blades, like, like that, you see? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Gee, that's keen, isn't it, Lee? How oh, you bet it is. Well, uh, you ready, Jerry? Just a minute. Rain in there, lad. Here, give me your cap, Jerry. Yes, sir. It's right there, Tubby, on that board. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> what are you doing that for, Corporal Dent? Putting leaves in my cap. Now, you, you wear this cap down. When you get to the bottom of the well, you put it on the head of the fella down there. But I, I don't see what... What fur? Well, I'll tell you what fur. When we're pulling him up, his head will fall forward. And this cap filled with leaves will act as a cushion. Say, that's all right. Of course it's all right, or I wouldn't have sunk it up. All right, what are you standing there for? Come on, let's proceed with the details. Yes, sir. Uh. Now, where's your flashlight? Oh, uh, why, we didn't bring any with us. No flashlights? Oh, for Well, the you see, they, they wouldn't let us bring them because the moon was shining pretty bright, and if we used flashlights, it would show the other team where we were. Well, that beats me. No flashlights running around in the dark like a flock of rabbits. Well, here, then. Take these matches down there with you. Okay, thanks. Well, I'm ready. Well, wait now. Wait till I cinch this rope around this tree. All right, you lads. Come on here and give me a hand. Yes, sir. We're coming yes, sir. Uh, all right. Go ahead, Jerry. Go ahead now. Slip down over that pole. All right. Here I go. Take it slow, lads. You all right, Jerry? Okay, so far. You getting along all right? Yep. Hey, wait. Hold it, lads. What's up? I'll have to wriggle around this big rock that's jutting out here. Wait a second. There. Okay, lower me down some more. All right, lads. A little more. Hey, I can see the bottom now. Can you see the man? Um, no, not quite. Well, do you hear anything? That's more important. What do you mean, hear anything? Well, I mean, can you hear him breathing? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I can. He's breathing awful hard. Almost like snoring. Oh, that's bad. Very bad. Yeah. There, Jerry must hey, be... Hey, I'm down. Yeah, I could feel it in the slack of the rope. Golly, th this fellow's all doubled up. That's why he's breathing hard, I guess. That's right. Hey, can you release him? Uh, I'm trying to. There. That'll help a little. Guess I'd better take a look and see if he's got any bad injuries, huh? Yeah, that's right. Light a match. Yeah, okay. Gee, Jerry looks funny down there by the light of that match. Hey, hey! What's, What's the matter, Jerry? Jerry? Well, you know who this is? You know him, Jerry? Yeah, who is it? Golly, it's Red Morrison. 